You're watching Second Mate Generation. Tips, Tricks Amp, Tutorial. Now your host Second Officer Dana. If you are aspiring deck officer, this video is for you. If you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel amp, click notification bell so you won't miss any of our video. Good day mga sir, in today's video, I will show you on how to import ENC permit here in Voyager 8. So, so I have uh, here 217 active and 14 expiring and also two expired okay so now we will import our enc permit so this is my new permit going to usa providence so import permits and then browse the location of the permit so this is my enc permit so it must be a zip file okay so the import is in progress and then the Voyager will ask you to click OK to restart the Voyager click OK and then plug So as you can see here now, I have 247 active and 13 expiring, okay? So this expiring, I will not uh, renew because it is not my voyage for the next uh, voyage, okay? We will not go there. Now, as you can see here, missing update files, okay? So, since when I request this uh, permit uh, today, I also receive an update for this ENC that I requested. Okay, so now I will import a Voyager update. Browse the location of update. So Voyager updates, click open. So this is the updates. One of three. 2 of 3 and 3 of 3 so just click 1 of 3 so you will receive this automatically when you uh, request ENC permit okay so if this one is not yet complete then you can message the support or the Voyager uh, updates to uh, receive your uh, the complete update okay so just click open Then click OK. So it is very important that you receive all the updates prior uh, importing the updates on your Voyager. So just log in again. So now as you can see here, we have uh, NTM week 47 and our uh, ENC is week 46. Even though we, uh, we update uh, the uh, receive file from Voyager, it will still show here missing update files. So if you also experience like this, then you can click request. So when you click request, it will generate a NES update file. So that file you will need to send to Voyager updates 
to complete um, your updates okay so it will show here you have missing enc updates okay so 66 uh, total 2.2 with mb do you wish to request the enc update so if you have internet then you can uh, set here in the configuration you can set to web and you can directly download from the um, Voyager cloud so since I uh, I don't have internet today so I will um, request this via email so I will click yes now it will uh, pop up here in the file explorer just click this one and you can see here this file just right click okay you can also see the date modified so the, today 23 11 2022 so just copy this one and uh, put in your uh, paste in your desktop and then send it later to Voyager updates okay after that you will receive a complete update okay so uh, we will check here uh, what uh, ENC is have a missing update so just click the updates and then click the ABCS and here just uh, click this uncheck all and click updates missing so you will see here this is the file that we will request this is two total 2.28 uh, MB as you can see previously so now I will go back to dashboard okay so also uh, before you update your um, B drive, you need to uh, make sure that you don't have a missing updates. Okay, so if you have a missing updates, you can check here updates missing and also click get updates and get latest edition of updates. Okay, so if you have an internet, you can click the configuration first and then go to update settings and you can click web service and click save so that when you click the gate latest edition of updates it will download automatically to Voyager cloud okay so since now the uh, setting of my Voyager is in email so you can uh, get updates here get latest updates and also uh, the same it will pop up the next update to send to Voyager updates okay so you can also here manage missing in the updates it is the same procedure it will also go in this minus okay it is the same uh, here in updates so okay the same okay so now i will send this file to voyager updates and then wait for the response okay after that i will import the update here and then i will check if uh, all enc is up to date then that is the time that i will uh, create enc update for my this okay so now i'm uh, i will send this uh, email first okay 
So I already received our response and now here in my USB this is the EDCS ENC updates. As you can see here it is one of two and two of two. So meaning to say that this is complete. Okay. So now we will see. And then we will click import a Voyager update. Pick your um, ABCS ENC updates. So just only click one of two. And then click open. And then click OK to restart the Voyager. Then just plug in. And then we will check if we have all uh, ENC updates. Okay, so we will go to create the ENC update for my egg disk and then we will see here just uh, uncheck all and just click updates missing so you uh, you cannot see anything here meaning to say you are all up to date okay as you can see so now this is the time that I will insert my USB and export my ENC update for my disk. So I will eject my other USB first. So before you um, export, uh, before you create the ENC update for my disk just make sure that you will remove all your uh, removable, uh, removable device except your V drive okay otherwise it will uh, it, it can be mistaken and it will um, format and uh, it will be it will make it as a V drive okay So now I already insert my B drive. Now this is the time that since I verify that all ENC updates um, is um, active here. So this is the time that I will create ENC update for my XDIS. Okay. Just insert your V drive and then here in updates, just uh, click here on and then you can also here you can also uh, select uh, by uh, selected, selected week or from week. Okay, so here you can uh, also only ENC or EIO me oh and then click export like this update okay and click full permit so you can also check it first you can check it first if you have missing update but as you can see so click full permit Now it will clean your V drive. 
So that is the purpose that you need to take out all your um, removable drive because sometimes uh, it will uh, clean your other drive and then uh, it will make it as B drive. It will rename as B drive. So you will be surprised if you see that all your files in uh, your other USB is removed. Okay. So when you uh, create update into your B drive, just make sure that only B drive is inserted here in your Voyager uh, computer. Okay. So we will wait this until completed and update into like this. Okay. So now the export completed successfully. So I will eject this one and I will eject my V drive and update into my this. Okay. So just eject. Okay. I will eject now even though you already uh, eject your usb you can click this confirm update as applied it's already it will all green and showing applied okay this is the update status now go back to dashboard and Alright, so this is the end of this video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.